Hey, this is Matt from Vesquant. Today is Tuesday, November 16, 2021. This is the week of options expiration. And what we'll be looking at this morning is what has happened historically on the Tuesday of options expiration week in a similar market environment with a similar opening location. So let me go ahead and set that up here in Discover. We'll grab all of the instruments. The setup will be based upon entering the market long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. Now, currently, the market is pretty flat at the time of this recording. So for the opening filter today, I'm going to use opening area, open in prior day range. I hit equals right there next to it to add it to the test. It shows up in the header section, which means it has been included. So that just means we have to open less than yesterday's high, but above yesterday's low. All right, so I've got that selected next i'm going to go into the indicators library put us in a similar market environment we're above a 10 above a 200 day simple moving average and then i'm going to go into the calendar library and i'm going to say that it's tuesday uh, day of the week right here i'm going to hit equals next to tuesday and lastly market events this is where you can find all the higher tiered market events that take place the reports that sort of thing and i'm going to say that it is the week of options expiration i'm going to grab that from active today uh, over there on the far right the bottom option a week of opex that comes from the market events it's down here at the bottom i believe there it is very last one and i've got that selected now we've got everything we need for the test and i can click view results All right, here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. When it is the Tuesday of options expiration week, you are in a bull market environment and you open within the prior day's range. Historically, we've got 78 samples in the S&P, 75 in the NASDAQ, 73 in the Dow, 76 in the Russell. Win rates on these are close to 60% here on three of the four. So S&P coming in at 60% of these have closed above the open for the day. Uh, the NASDAQ coming in at 60%. The Dow, 59%, and the Russell, 50%. So three of the four are almost identical there. If we look at the average moves, it looks like the average loss is larger than the average win for the S&P. That is also the case for the NASDAQ. Uh, the Dow, average win, just a little bit bigger. And for the Russell, they're pretty similar in size. So S&P and NASDAQ have had a little bit larger average losses. The others are uh, pretty similar in size for average moves. But as a whole... Uh, this day has closed above the open more often than not. So a little bit more of a bullish uh, tendency on this day to close higher. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.